Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel and welcome to the world of Android customization. In today's new video, we're going to be bringing you, yes that's right, it's going to be a lock screen tutorial and a home screen tutorial, all bundled into one. It's going to be awesome, especially if you enjoy minimal setups. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great everyone, so like I said, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up an amazing home screen and lock screen in today's video. Now, the setup is by the author Mihail, and this is titled Blur. And as you can tell, it's called Blur because of, I guess, of the background and the extreme minimalism of it. Let's have a look at this lock screen, and as you can tell, it looks purely amazing, especially for all the minimal lovers out there. It's got your clock over there, it's got your day of the week, as well as your battery percentage, as well as how much time you got left on your current battery. In the middle here, you got this little button that's got the little greeting there that says hi, and when you select that button, it unlocks your phone. How cool is that? Let's have a look at this home screen and as you can tell, the minimalism flows through perfectly. You've got your little top bar here displaying your weather. It's got your little weather icon. It's got your time as well as your battery and your little battery icon there. And then topping it all off, you've got these iOS 7 like icons here. They might be by Adam Hollister, I'm not too sure, but they look purely amazing on this very minimal home screen. And it, I don't know, I just really enjoy this setup. So if you'd like to know how to set up this very home screen on your Android device, then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before you begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this setup. Starting with the apps that you'll be needing, just showed you here at the bottom. The first will be Widget Locker, as you know, that'll be your lock screen app that you'll be using. It's fantastic and I highly recommend it. Next up will be Zupa Widget Pro, and I say the Pro version because you can't do it with the free setup, you can't import custom files. Next up, you always need a good file explorer. I always recommend ES File Explorer because it's free and very easy to use. And then last but not least, you'll be needing a custom launcher like or third-party launcher like the one I'm using here. This one I'm using Nova Launcher Prime. I just use Prime because it comes with a few gestures which I really enjoy. You're also welcome to use any others such as Apex Launcher, SS Launcher, and even Thema Beta. Yes, that's right. So now once you have all the apps that are required as well as downloaded that resource a zip file either onto your computer and then extracted it and then pasted it onto your phone or just downloaded it straight onto your phone and then extracted it using your any other file explorer. Once you've done that, you want to navigate to where you've pasted it. So what I'm going to do now is just go in to find where I found it or pasted it. So where it is, it's here, it's called Blur. Well, just I've just called it Blur. And here's everything that you need. Now you can pretty much leave everything as is, but there's just two files that you want to be copying. It's the ss.zw and the sunday.zw, these are the two Zupa widget files that you need to copy into the Zupa widget templates folder. In order to do that, you just need to select both of them, select copy, we want to go back now, and you want to go into your main SD card directory, you want to look for that Zupa widget folder, from here you want to jump straight into templates, and from here you can just paste it just like that, and bam, there it is, easy as that, that is all your setup done, you don't need anything else. So in part two, I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to set up this amazing looking home screen. It's extremely easy, so let's get to it. Great, so starting with a very stock home screen, what you want to be doing first is getting rid of all the icons and widgets that are currently on the home screen. And in order to do that, you can just simply hold down on them and select remove. Once that's done, we're going to be jumping right into the launcher settings. So in order to get into your Nova launcher settings, you just need to hold down on the home screen and select that little wrench right there. And this brings you up into your Nova launcher settings. From here, we're going to be jumping into our desktop and then into our desktop grid. Now an 8x6 is recommended. I just set it up and an 8x6 seemed to work pretty well because the icons, they, you don't want them too bunched up. And that's 6 because there's 4 going across and that just seemed to make more sense to me. So you're always welcome to change this, but I think this looked pretty good. So we're going to leave that done for now. Your margins, you want to be on none. Everything else you want to be disabled. Home screen, you just want one home screen. There's pretty much you can leave your scrolling effects because it won't be any. And that's pretty much it because there's only going to be one widget. I don't even think that widget overlap needs to be enabled, but I always recommend it just because it makes your life a whole lot easier later on. Next up, we're going to be jumping into our look and feel. And if we scroll down right now, we want our notification bar. We want that to be disabled. We don't need that one at the top because we're going to be putting in our own kick-ass one. So from here, you're always welcome to go into your gestures and buttons. Remember, this is only for the Prime users out there, simply because there's no physical app draw button, but you're always welcome to set your home button. You can do this in a free version. You can set your home button to be the app draw. So that's that little menu button right there. So when you press it, that'll just bring up your app draw, but you're always welcome to set it as a gesture. I always tend to prefer that myself. So 
that is pretty much your Nova settings complete. Very, very simple. You just want to make sure that you have a completely blank home screen ready to customize that awesome looking wallpaper. So in order to set up this wallpaper, very easy to do. You simply want to hold down on the home screen once again, select your wallpapers option right here, and then you just need to find that folder where you've copied onto your phone and you just need to select your wallpaper just like that. Very simple right here. We just need to, I just select this little cropping button here just to make my life a bit easier. Remember this is just using quick pick and you can pretty much put it wherever you want. It does not matter. I'm just going to select OK. As long as it's in that general area, it's going to set the wallpaper for you. Bam, set up quick and simple. How cool was that? Next up, we're going to be adding in the super widget file at the top. So same thing, very easy to do. Simply hold down on the home screen, select widgets this time, and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. We want to look for Zuper Widget Pro. Well, it should be the one at the bottom. I'm not sure what other widgets come with Z. So other than that, we want to choose, doesn't really matter what size we go for. Um, let's just say, I'm going to go for three by one. Now, why do we select any size? Because we're going to hold down on it and select resize. I guess you could go for a six by one if you want it to be really cool. You just want to make sure that it covers this top area just like that with just a one grid size taking up the height, I guess you could call it. So I'm just going to tap away right now. I'm going to select the skin. It's going to bring up our Super Widget Editor. And if you've copied into that correct templates folder and we're going to our SD card options right here, all we want to do is scroll, I guess, to the bottom. And from here, you want to be selecting the one called SS. I'm not sure why it's called SS, but it's called SS. Now, if it's a little too small for you, you're always welcome to go down to the bottom and change the scaling, make it a little bit bigger but this seemed to work pretty well for me. From here, you're always welcome to change your layout. And why I say change your layout is that you can always add in hotspots. For example, if you want to tap the clock and it can open up, say your default clock app, you, then you're welcome to do so. So in order to do that, we can just say go into our text, the one that's called the time, go into our widget on tap action. And if you just select it like that, as always, we can just change it to whatever you want. Remember, if you have no idea how to use Zuper Widget, I do recommend checking in the link in the description below on a complete guide on how to use Zuper Widget. It might just come in handy. So I'm just gonna scroll down, look for my one called Clock right here. Just gonna select it like that. So now whenever I select the time right here, it's gonna bring up my Clock app, which I find quite useful. Now you're welcome to do that same for the temperature. You can say make it bring up your default weather app and even for your settings if you're your default battery app for your battery settings. I'm just going to leave it done for now. I'm just going to go back right now back to the main widget settings here and what I do want to do is go into widget on tap action. Remember this is for the general widget and I want to make that disabled. Now why do I make it disabled? Well that's because if I tap say just below it I don't want it to bring up my editor which can get quite annoying. It, believe me it, it is quite annoying so yeah, I do always recommend making it a disabled option right there. I'm just going to select back right now and there it's been added. How cool is that? So all we have to do now is add in those awesome looking icons. Great. So for these icons, remember it's not an icon pack. I'm not too sure if it's an icon pack. If it is, please let me know and then I'll just add in the credits in the description or an annotation. But all you want to do now is hold on the, down on the home screen, select apps right now and you want to be selecting, well you can select multiple but you're always welcome to add them in one by one. And now you can just go wild and start adding in those favorite apps. Remember, you do want to check in the, with the icon images first to see if they correlate to whatever apps that you have. For example, there is calculator, calendar, camera, chrome and clock, but I don't think there's one for um, tiny URLs. So you just want to make sure what images that are currently available. Once you've got all of them that you want, you just want to select add. So you can just start dragging them and make sure that they fill out a three by four grid. Once that's done, all you want to do is to hold down on each one of them, select edit, select the icon, and from here you want to go into your gallery as you just need to look for all of the icons. So remember, you just need to look for that folder that contains everything, and here you go. So say for the one for Dropbox, I'm just going to be selecting the uh, Dropbox icon, just going to select OK, no cropping needed, and you just need to select that little tick button, and then it changes it like that, how quick and simple. I know it might seem a bit tedious, but you get into the hang of it and you can honestly set up all of them in just a few seconds. So what I'm just going to let you do now is to add in each one of your icons, change it to the ones that look like this, and then come back to me once you are done. Great, so I changed them up a bit. I think these look really cool. So let's jump into that awesome looking lock screen. Let's get to it. Great, so welcome to part three. You're going to be setting up the lock screen right now. So all I'm going to be doing right now is going into my widget locker app. 
and here it is set up like this now if you have any icons or apps or anything on the lock screen you just want to hold down on them and drag them into the bin at the bottom so you want to have a completely blank home screen once that's done you're going to look for that little icon there at the top right that brings up into your widget locker settings so first up make sure that your widget locker is on otherwise of course it'll not work and from here you want to go into your look and feel definitely want to have alternative wallpaper enabled as this will allow you to open up an alternative wallpaper as now you want to be selecting that select wallpaper option from here you just want to go to your preferred gallery app so here's my quick pick right here and you just need to select that wallpaper that awesome blur wallpaper that comes with the setup so i'm just going to be resizing it so it takes up pretty much the entire width that i think that looks pretty good just need to select ok and that's the wallpaper set up you can go into your background tint now and i think it's defaulted at 50 percent but i'm just going to make it full brightness just so make it easier for you guys next up you want to jump into your layout and this is somewhat important if you've just been if you haven't used widget locker before this anchor should be chilling around about the middle right here but you just want to drag it all the way to the bottom you also want to disable automatically determine grid size as you want to make it your own awesome grid size so i just made it a 12 by 12 as there's no icons so it doesn't matter about how big or small the icons can get because there's none of them so a 12 by 12 always just works well because there's only widgets involved which means you can get a whole lot of resizing done from there you just want to select save so from here we want to go scroll a bit more down you want to make sure that hide notification bar is enabled as you don't need that one at the top remember we're going to have our own awesome little setup so from here just need to go back oh, also don't forget to disable label shortcuts and that's pretty much it we just need to go into our advanced settings now we want to make sure that widget overlap is enabled as i'm just going to do some funky trickery I'm going to show you later on and from here we want to go into home helper if you haven't done this before and this is because a lot of people complain that once they select this little button right here or your menu button then it unlocks the phone and that's not always a good thing so all we have to enable right here is home helper component home helper block home and then finally block home and other apps and that what, what happens then is that when you select the menu button and it'll just bring you up into your stock lock screen so that is your widget locker settings complete if we just go back out of everything then we should have a completely blank screen everything set up ready to add in those widgets great so there's only one zuper widget to add in right here so i'm just going to hold down on that lock screen and going to go jump into widgets right now and want to scroll all the way down again to zuper widget remember it doesn't matter what size you go for let's just say go for a 4x4 as we're going to be holding down on it selecting resize and then just making it somewhat bigger so i think that's pretty much the size of the widget let's tap tap back now select the skin once again it's going to bring up once again into my word into my zuper widget folder here into my zuper widget settings and from here i'm going to be selecting sd card as once again we're going to be choosing one of the imported files so from here i'm going to be selecting one called sunday I wish it was a Sunday, but unfortunately not. So here it is right here. And for some reason, it was a bit small for me. So I just need to change the scale. So once again, I'm going to scroll down a bit here, select the scale and just bump it up slightly. So I think that looks pretty good. And we always welcome to go once again to change your layout, add in your own hotspots. But I don't always enjoy having hotspots on my lock screen. So from here, we just need to select back. You are always welcome to change this up a bit. What I always like to do on widget locker is just hold down on the skin right now and select block clicks. And this is just easier than going disable on tap as you can always just hold down on it and select allow clicks if you want to just change something slightly. So I'm just going to block the clicks right now. And all we are left to do guys is to add in a custom slider. And what that basically means is just adding in a little unlock button over this little high right there. So in order to do that, simply need to hold down on the lock screen, go into custom slider this time, and then here it is, it should come up with the default one. So all we want to do now is to scroll that one to the left hand side, to the right hand side, select disabled, select the music or the sound icon right here, swipe it to the left, make that disabled, and now select that middle one. From here, we want to go into our widget locker actions and make sure that you want to select unlock because you want it to unlock your phone. Now from here, you just want to change this green icon. So we want to select the icon tab, jump right into our gallery right here. And from here, you want to find where you copied that blank PNG. So mine is right there. No cropping or resizing necessary. Just need to select that little tick and select done. 
Now you do have to kind of remember where you put it. I think mine was slightly there. So you just need to hold down, select resize, and just pr pretty much resize it over the button. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna tap away right now, and let's test it out. If we select that little, mud little button right there, bam, unlocks your screen, and it looks fantastic. So let's just test it out once again. We can just lock the screen like this, and let's just unlock it so like that, and Bam, so awesome looking lock screen. Tapping it like that will unlock your phone. How cool, and you got, of course, an awesome looking minimal home screen. So that is the video complete, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out our various social communities. We are on Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, even Instagram, showing off these amazing home screens. Also, don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming app that I'm using right here. And that's that simple. It's literally one click. You just need to go into your browse themes, look for whichever one that you want, click apply, and within a few seconds, it'll be set up and make your home screen look amazing. You definitely want to go check it out on the Google Play Store and leave an awesome review. So other than that, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.